Hello, I'm Kemper Holt, and welcome to The Listening Chair. Today we're going to be going down to Sterling, Virginia to visit with Alex Siufi, who runs Alma Audio East, one of the East Coast's finest audio salons. Sterling, Virginia is just a hop, skip, and a jump away from the iconic Dulles Airport. So if you need to fly in to audition anything, it's a quick 10, 15 minute ride on over to Alex's place. Today we're going to be focusing on YG speakers and Vinnie Rossi's Brahma Electronics. We are now in Alma's big listening room with Steve and Duncan from YG. Take it away, gentlemen. Well, we're excited to be here at Alma East and uh, wanted to use this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about the new YG speakers. Uh, we've got the Sonia 3.2 here today, and we have something from our Peak series called the Talus. And uh, Duncan, you want to tell us a little bit about some of the interesting technology in these? Yeah, Sonia is maybe the speaker we're best known for. It's a modular platform, so it could be uh, a single, a double, or a triple size. And uh, we've made major revisions to uh, all kinds of points inside, uh, major crossover changes, big baffle changes, and an upgrade to the uh, already high-performance uh, tweeter that we use, a hybrid lattice tweeter that's a combination of hair thin aluminum uh, supported under a silk dome of a tweeter. So marrying the high frequency detail of uh, what aluminum can do with the natural sound of a silk tweeter. Right. So we're here to sort of demonstrate the, the breadth that we offer at YG. The Peak Series is much more accessible price-wise. Also, we've done a lot of modeling to make sure that it works in real-world rooms. The Reference Series is, is typically used in a, in a dedicated listening space, uh, not always, but often. And so the Peak Series was designed to work in uh, normal living rooms. Really wide dispersion with all these products, so the whole family can enjoy it. It isn't just a single person sitting in a sweet spot. Uh, here at Alma, they've selected some really good electronics. Uh, you're going to hear from Vinnie Rossi in a minute about some of the great things they've got. It's a great synergy that we're synergy. here. At YG, we've brought in a number of new processes and a new design team, um, and there's an emphasis on um, improvement everywhere we can find a way to remove distortion. We've optimized the cones, we've optimized the, uh, the crossover, and we've started making our own components in these crossovers. Um, there are just many revisions in the version 3 of the reference series from YG. Yeah, so we've, we've taken what we've built on as a company, great designs to begin with. Uh, these aluminum structures that we build have no parallel surfaces. It's the same thing with the Peaks cabinet designs. There's no parallel surfaces. So any way we can do something that's harder, <laughs> we seem to find a way to do that. That's right. Uh, yeah. yeah, if it's the best way to do things. And so we do things like machine our own cones. We'll start with a billet of aluminum, machine those. Uh, the circuit boards that we use, we machine in-house. All this cabinet work is done in-house. The front baffle, uh, all of that is, uh, even for the Peak Series, is done in-house. Yeah, every inductor is hand-wound, hand-potted, and hand-clamped to the already inert cabinet structure. Um, you know, so that allows us to use very specific conductor shapes and sizes. We can go really big with it. Uh, there's an emphasis on lack of uh, energy loss within the crossover uh, on heat, so it's a very, we're trying to make this high current capable and as efficient as possible while maintaining, a, obviously, a very sealed box and the traditional method of uh, uh, construction that YG is known for. Exactly. And, well, what matters is, is how it sounds, and we hope you come to uh, Alma and have uh, a listening session as well. Come and visit Alex and have some fun listening Listen to this watching. great room. Yeah. We'd like to bring uh, Vinny Rossi in to talk a little bit about the great electronics we're experiencing here. Hi, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Alma East in Sterling, Virginia, uh, teams up with YG Acoustics. Uh, for the electronics, um, preamplifier and stereo power amplifier, uh, the Brahma, we'll start with the preamp, is uh, a unique product where we're using 300B triodes uh, to do the, the voltage gain. So, you have balanced inputs going right into 
basically a dual mono design that features the 300B triode amplifying. And then from there we have um, discrete volume control and balanced outputs. So in the preamplifier, this design allows you to run fully triode, where it's the only device in the signal path, or fully solid state, or you could actually mix a combination of both to fine tune how much of that uh, effect of the triode you're getting. The triode is adding a lot of dimension, it's adding a lot of space, it's adding air and tone. That's really where it specializes. But if you wanted a more flatter sound without the, that extra uh, addition, you could pretty much dial back how much of that triode is used in 25% increments to fully solid state. Um, most of the time, I feel like the triode fully on is where it's at. And we, we chose it for its linearity, for its you know fine detail and nuance, and it's just awesome, strong sound that it gives, and it's exciting. And the Bellison regulators are specially designed for this, perhaps? Yeah. I worked with Brian Lowe from Bellison, and it came to him because I know he has the lowest noise regulators on the market. And I needed something that was going to work with this design. So we talked about how we could get that from a custom design. We call it the SPX VR, the Vinnie Rossi. It's based on his XPX technology, but we have it set where um, the output of his regulator, the, the pass-through transistor, is separate. And it allows us to fine-tune where we position it very close to the preamplifier boards because we want a very uh, short signal path and power path. Because the 300Bs are so revealing that we needed to make sure that we could, you know, not pick up noise along the way and get all the benefit of those regulators and the 300Bs deliver. So the 300Bs, you don't see them sticking out. It's because they're actually mounted internally to the preamplifier boards that are on the rear. Well, why are the preamplifier boards on the rear panel? It's because the input and output jacks are attached to the preamplifier boards, as are the triodes connected to it. So you're talking signal path of inches. And all the control of the volume is on each preamplifier board. There's a separate left and right um, step attenuation done. Control from the front, controlled by the remote, but the signal doesn't go there. This is just to control the switching of those relays that switch the resistances for the volume control. We have 100 dB steps. It's important to be able to you know, also fine tune the gain. That's you know, the heart of the line stage. So you could do that in, in, um, from minus 12 dB to positive 12 dB depending on your system. So low efficiency speakers or low output sources like phono stages tend to benefit from the extra gain in your system. So it gives you all that, that uh, flexibility and control. And we're taking the outputs and feeding it into the Brahma stereo power amplifier. It's a MOSFET based class AB biased pretty heavily into class A featuring uh, 300 watts channel to eight ohm. It's getting close to 600 into four ohm. Uh, this uses uh, a 2 kVA power transformer, uh, all soft recovery diode bridges, dual mono, separate power supply sections per channel, a massive uh, enclosure featuring solid CNC machined aluminum components throughout. So there's no sheet metal, it's all from CNC milled 6063 aluminum. It's a low resonance. Um, very good for heat sinking as well, which is a, a big requirement we had to make sure we could accomplish to, for this kind of power. And another important feature that I wanted to make sure was maintained is the ability, even at high power, to get the subtlety and nuances in the music just right with it. And with speakers like these YG Sonya 3.2s, you hear it all. And Alex from Alma East set up a beautiful room here. I want Alex to be able to explain about how his storefront is uh, its new in the area and it sounds phenomenal in here. Well, for, for our listening rooms, um, we wanted to, because we had to build them from scratch. So we hired the gentleman that actually does the acoustic panels for us, Nemesis Diffusers. So this guy is a very, very smart guy. He basically worked with the dimensions we had and carved two listening rooms in our space, both here in Virginia and space in, in San Diego as well. So these were carefully made, room within a room design with 
all of these things, the soffits, and as, I don't know if the camera's going to pick up, but the corners are rounded, so they effectively work as base traps. And the effect we wanted to achieve is not to get an anechoic chamber or anything close to it, because we don't want to kill what these beautiful speakers are putting out. We want, actually, a measured way to control so whatever's in, whoever's in the listening seat gets the energy of the music, but without any extraneous resonance or boominess that rooms normally add, or glare. Glare is something that a lot of lively rooms add that actually doesn't contribute to the enjoyment of the music. So the idea here is the panels absorb and diffuse some, and then the room keeps its energy and the beauty of the music. So that's the idea. We have two listening rooms here. Uh, if you're ever in the Sterling, Virginia area, 15 minutes from Dulles Airport, please stop by and, and check, check us out. Thank you.